Hello everyone, it is Mr. Stubstep and I'm back again with another TCG player pickup video. This will just be a one part video, I got a decent amount of cards. I'm hoping to make these a little bit, you know, more concise. Like always, I'll show down below um, prices that I paid. If it's over a dollar, if it's less than a dollar, then I'm just gonna talk about condition. But if it's over a dollar, I'll talk about the condition as well as how much I paid and then how much it's worth in the condition that I received it in. And then at the end, I'll have a summary just adding all the new numbers to my like condition basically break down if it's better, worse, or the same quality condition. Because, you know, the, the number of cards that I've been ordering is, has been increasing. So let's get this opened up. So another bubble mailer, usually a sign that I ordered a decent amount of cards from the same seller. Okay, they have a little invoice. And then, ooh, we have all the cards in one of these. I do appreciate these. Very nice stack. Oh, wow. Okay, so they're gonna... Okay, so they folded the team bag over. Okay, you know, I like that. I like that. So we're gonna be going through these cards one by one. This will be fairly fast, unless it's a, you know, really good looking card that I want to take a second to look at. But start with Brock's Onyx from Jim Heroes. Wow, this condition. Not bad. You would think I just freaking opened up a Jim Heroes unlimited booster pack. We have Cleffa from Neo Genesis. Another one that is in fairly decent condition. So this was one where I needed something for my collection. And so I looked at what else they were selling in order to, you know, save on shipping in the long run, or at least for a bigger order. Cause you know, if you were to pay shipping on all these individual cards, it would add up real quick. But since they're all from the same seller, they can just throw them all in one bubble mailer. And there you go. We got an Ekans from Shining Legends. There we go. Ooh, we got some more Shining Legends for Ralliator. This is just an uncommon, but it is a reverse hollow that I'm missing. Very nice to have this. Please let me know if you guys like these types of videos. I enjoy making them, but if, you know, these are old for y'all, if you like, guys have seen a bunch of these and you're like, all right, let's do something new, please let me know if there's any ways that I can update these or change these for better. Another uncommon Incineroar, Reverse Hollow. Nice, my Shining Legends binder. I, I will admit, I do get super excited to get these because I just know my binders it just get slowly filled in more and more. Just imagine like a thousand piece puzzle and every single week, you get like five more pieces to put together and you're just like waiting in anticipation for the full photo to, for the full picture to be complete. That is what me getting these cards from TCG Player is like. Ooh, we have another reverse holo from Sword and Shield Base. Very nice. I'm like, I might have all of the, just the regular cards from Sword and Shield Base now. Ooh, we got the Houndoom V from Darkness Ablaze. Beautiful card. I love that baby blue and pink or lighter blue and pink fantastic coloring definitely looks to be packed fresh very nice you know what that one deserves a stand how about that oh of course what would one of these recent openings or openings i guess it's technically an opening of a package be without some xy base set of course still slowly building up that xy base set chest spin this one has a little bit of crud but that's okay just gonna join all the others got diggers b that's just an uncommon yeah, I'm very curious what y'all have been ordering. If you're not, if you haven't been able to order anything, what are you saving up for? If you're saving up for anything, and if you're not saving up for anything, you know what? What are you doing on your on your downtime? What what hobby are you exploring right now? Very curious. Got Dunsparce, always derpy. Got some stuff going on in the background. Yeah, the my recent orders have had a lot of errors and. It's weird. I went so many orders with no errors, and then I had like three orders in a row that had errors. So. Hoping this one doesn't have any... Ooh, the Gorgeist. I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, this one was like... No, maybe it wasn't this one. I think it's a Trevenant that's really expensive for some reason. But it's always nice to get the little hollows. Ooh, we got that Grass Energy. Look at that. Shoot, this might be the rarest card that we've seen so far. Man, it's nice. We got the Crocodile. Looks kind of a little derpy, but I'll take it. I did have Crocodile in my Pokemon Black run. Thought it was a cool Pokemon. Lapras. Yeah, this one was a little bit pricier. I have the reverse holo. Now I have the regular holo. Beautiful card. I think Lapras, I would say, is one of those mid-tier collectible Pokemon. Not super high tier, but it's one that people always like. Because, you know, they remember the opening, Ash riding Lapras. And then you get a Lapras handed to you in Sylph Co. in the game. So it's, it's just one of those Pokemon. It doesn't evolve, but it's really strong. Rainbow Energy. This was a card that I've needed for a while. But I like didn't recognize that I need because I use Poke Collector to I use Poke Collector as my quick reference 
to see like what cards I'm missing from a set. And then I use TCG player to like keep track of all the cards that I have, like reverse hollows. And then it gives me like a generic pricing of what I have, which is really nice. Scolipede, it's just another way to kind of see progress. Like you see your binders get more and more full, but as you see, you know, the collection grow, the amount that it's worth grow, even though it is a very rough estimate on how much it's, it's, it's worth, you know, you take, you know, 10, 20% off that value. That's, if you were to try to sell it individually, that I think that'd be a worthy price of what you have. Ooh, Talonflame. I, this is my first type of this card. Ooh, you can see nice print line going right through. That is a really cool artwork. Not a huge fan of this hollow. It just seems kind of basic and a little bit lazy. We have this Trevenant hollow. Yeah, this one was pretty expensive. I don't know why. Maybe this, this card's like good and expanded or something or whatever, but yeah. Got the Trevenant added. Okay. Sorry, I might go on a rant a little bit. So I have my entire XY base set binder laid out. Little did I know that there are two freaking kinds of Vivalon in Wait. Oh, wait. Is this a Cosmos hollow foil? And then this one's like the regular one from the set? Okay, I might have to do some research. Because I was about to get really angry if there was like a reverse of this and a reverse of that. I'll probably have a note down below or whatever. Because I have my entire binder space out. And if one of these has a reverse hollow as well, then I have to push every card to the right two spaces. And because this is a grass type, it's at the very beginning. So I nearly have to push every single thing that I have. So if I haven't shown the information on that and the information on this, this is Cosmos hollow foil. I imagine it's like maybe like a deck exclusive or a promo from something, but yeah. And then we're finishing up nice and strong with Zerua reverse hollow. So yeah, I think this is a very successful opening or opening, gosh dang it, successful order. I generally put in another order once the order that I last put in comes in. So I'm always extra excited to get these because then I get all these cards, get to add them into my collection, and then I get to place another order. So yeah, if I haven't shown already, I'll show the updated numbers for all the cards that I've added based on their condition and everything. And yeah, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And once again, give me any feedback down below. If this is your second video of mine, consider subscribing. If you like what you saw, leave a like. If you don't like what you saw, um, give me feedback down below on how I can improve or a dislike. I have links down below to other videos similar to this, as well as other great things. So please check it out and I will catch you guys in the recap. Thank you.